this is a very generic picture of what happens with tornadoes in a uh, tropical storm, whether it be a hurricane, tropical depression, or a tropical storm, all the same thing. First of all, what happens is, is as our storm system is moving ashore, it interacts with a little bit of friction. Some of those surface winds, though they are coming around as a counterclockwise flow, they get a little bit of a turning of the wind here, okay? So our surface wind is coming in from, say, the southeast. But as you get higher up in the atmosphere, you don't have as much friction. OK, so those winds can continue to go around at their same counterclockwise flow. So you're going to get the wind shifting because they're not as affected by friction the higher you go up into the atmosphere. And then if you get little breaks in the clouds, you can get some of that daytime heating, which can help, uh, you know, pop off those tornadoes a little bit more. So we do have that threat for tornadoes here in Florida, a 50 percent chance of seeing a tornado in a 50 mile radius. And this won't be surprising to you to find out that for September, we actually see a whole heck of a lot of tornadoes into Florida 127 if we go back from 1994 to 2015 but how many of these are attributed to tornadoes look at that 70 percent I mean through the entire southeast here Jen obviously majority of those tornadoes are due to tropical entities.